Good evening. Tonight, I can report to the American people and to the world that the United States has conducted an operation that killed Osama bin Laden, the leader of al-Qaeda. so long since 9-11 happened. It's almost a decade. I mean, this is probably the biggest news in the last, like, four years. So it was a relief. It was exciting. But it's also, you know, it's kind of tragic all at the same time. But I think we're all really happy. I can't believe he was living in a mansion this whole time, <laughs> actually, to be honest with you. And we all thought he was so humble, you know, like in a cave somewhere with, like, a fire pit. But no, he had, like, really good security. And we went in there, and there was definitely gunfire. And from everything I hear, it was a really hard task. I was ecstatic like everybody else in America. Why? Because he was the one that uh, made our country and the economy change through what happened at uh, the bombing of the World Trade Center and the anti-American sentiment that he had. And uh, we got our, uh, our VIG back. I'm a bit suspicious of the possibility of a political stunt just because um, I don't think we get comprehensive or sometimes accurate information from the government and it seems like US politics is becoming more and more exaggerated. Um, Honestly, when because I was on Facebook last night and a lot of people were like commenting and saying, oh, this guy's dead, but I'm not like the kind of person that'll like no stuff so i legit looked him up and i'm like oh he was a terrorist <laughs> oh he was a terrorist he did the 9 11 thingy oh good he's dead so yeah a friend of mine had said uh they think it's crap he's been dead for a long time they're just trying to boost obama's uh reputation and, uh country morale but i don't know i thought he was already dead and you tend bar, so what was the reaction of your uh, customers? Um, well, a lot of the customers all found on their on their iPhones because we don't have TVs at our bars. Um, so people were getting like text messages and things like that. And they're like, "Oh, did you hear? Did you hear?" And I was like, "No, what are you talking about?" So everybody kind of had a different story, especially as like the news was coming in. I think most people will see this kind of as a blip in in the greater scheme of things. In the long run, do you think it'll make any kind of a difference? Honestly, no, because there are more terrorists and uh, someone else could like be the boss. I'm sure there was a backup boss in case that one died. But eventually we will overcome them too and we will kill them. And Mer America will be back to the strongest country in the world as it was three, four, five, six years ago.